Okay, I've got five o'clock. Call this meeting to order. Ask Brother Coleman if he'd give us a word of invitation. Close five heads. Father God, we just want to thank you for another day. We thank you for the day of our meeting that we come together and for our city of Hartford. We ask you to bless and give us the understanding and give us good guidance and just help us this day, Lord. And we thank you for each and every one that's here tonight on behalf of our meeting. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay. Give everybody a few minutes to look over the last minutes, if you will. Then I'll ask for a motion to accept the minutes as read. <coughs> I make the motion to accept them. I have a first. Second. Mary Bell's first. Tony second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like side. Motion carries. Thank you. Tara is not with us today, so we'll go on down the line. Uh, before you have your financial <laughs> reports, bank statements, and income statements, I'll give you a few minutes to look over that. Then I'll ask for a motion to accept the financial reports. I make a motion to accept it. I'll second. second. I have a first and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like side. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have uh, in old business the second reading ordinance number 2023-03 annual alcohol regulated license fee. Um, that's just something that we have to do each year. Um, I'll ask um, for a motion. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Jack, do you care to read that? Sure. If you got it up. Right. Just in bold. Just in bold. An ordinance complying with KRS 243.070 and section 1 that. article 15F of ordinance 2020-2, the alcohol beverage control ordinance to establish the annual alcohol regulatory license. Okay, um, thank you, Jeff. Do I have a motion? To accept. To accept. Make a motion. I'll second it. Okay, this will be a roll call vote. Yes. Davis. Yes. Jerry. Yes. Yes. Isabel. Tony. Yes. All yeses. Thank you. All right. Um, that is it on old business. Um, on on new business, this is a, a computer requirements, and I'm going to let Lisa kind of fill y'all in of what's happening here in the office and what needs to be updated in our system. Our accounting software informed us. Um, probably a month and a half, two months ago, that the utility side of our software will no longer be supported after December 31st. So we have to upgrade in order to continue billing electronically for our water, sewer, and sanitation. In order to do that, then they had to look at our equipment to see if our equipment was up to standards that could run the software. And in fact, it is not. Our server is outdated and our workstations are outdated. So you have in your packet, it's IT365 proposal. For the server is $12,265. And then for, in your packet, it says the quantity of four workstations. We have since learned that um, our IT people were here and we found out that the fire department computer was also needing to be upgraded. So really, I need to get this quote updated to a quantity of five workstations to be upgraded. 
but the quote here is for eleven $1 hundred and thirty nine dollars and eighty two cents and this is something that do what it is required uh no that's no uh it's uh Twelve thousand on the server. Yeah, and eleven hundred and thirty-nine. He asked if that was a piece. That was just a grand total, right? Yeah, that's a grand total. Grand total at the end of yeah. that. So, and these are things that kind of like in days time we got to keep it, these things up to date. So it's nothing that we can. It's really our hands are tied. Yeah, it's. Uh, we would actually have to manually do everything from a man. You would not have a printed water bill. If we didn't do this, there would be manual billing. I mean, we'd go back to the 70s. So um, we're really, our hands are tied as far as being able to use our software. If we don't upgrade our equipment, then. When would you be getting this new equipment in? I'm sorry? When would this new equipment have to be in? I mean. Well, uh, this we would suit. want done first because the actual software itself has to be upgraded by the December 31st. There is no support after December 31st. So we wanted to get all our hardware work done so that we could get our software installed before December 31st. And this would be a really nice um, avenue for occupational tax to cover this type of expense. <coughs> Because it's, it's, it is something that is required that unless we bought a whole new accounting <coughs> package, which would be much, much more expensive than this, um, we really don't have an alternative. So we got to do it. Just quick math. That I did the eleven thirty nine ninety two cents divided by four, come out to two hundred eighty four, almost eighty five dollars uh, per computer. So if we add another one, just an estimate, you know, that brings up that total to fourteen twenty four and ninety cents. So, uh, kind of so can I? Um, I'll ask for a motion to put that price included. Mm -hmm. To bring it up, and if we have to work with that later on, we can. Mm -hmm. But I'll ask for a motion with that total that he has. A motion. Yeah, I'll make a motion to uh, add additional computer workstation to bring that total to five workstations with a an estimate of one thousand four hundred twenty-four dollars and ninety cents. I'll second that. I have a motion. Is your motion also includes the server? Yes, server, server included. Yes, that's fine. To reflect that, if it's okay, I, I would I would entertain to see if we could take that out of occupational tax as well. Yes, that's what we were so we reflect that on that on that motion if Jeff agrees to that. Okay, I have a first and second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Pose like side. The motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Um, does anybody in the public have anything that they want to bring forward? I do. Okay. My name is Walter Clark, and I have a request for closing an old alleyway from Render Street to Sycamore Street. <coughs> running adjacent to my property and property next door. It's not been used. Well, I've been there for 45 years and it's not been used for an alley and in any sort. There is a sewer line that runs there, but it already has easement, so that's not a problem there. And that's that's it. I was just making that request. Okay. For it to be. I will. Um, we'll we'll get we'll look at this as well as I'll I'll get Tara, our city attorney, involved to look at these, okay. and see what the the best route to go on this. Uh -huh. It's been done, um, but we want to make sure that we can do it on our end, and we'll get back with you and That'd be great. and see what we can do. All right. Thank you. 
Thank you. Yes. You too. All right. Um, really don't have a whole lot myself. I know um, everything's been going pretty good. I know the water department the past two days, they've fixed uh, three water leaks and um, they're waiting on parts for some others. So I'm really, really proud of them. Our police department, they, um, they're they doing really well. I don't know if y'all have met Dallas Dukes yet, but this is our new new officer that'll be going to the academy. So very proud to have him with us. And um, Jeremy, he just went up in rank as a sergeant. So he's one of our sergeants in our department now. So everything's going smoothly. I'm pretty, pretty proud of everybody. So um, round table discussion. Uh, Jeff, do you have anything to bring to the table? Uh, not, nothing there, no. David? Oh, Lisa, do you have anything? Jerry? i just like to say for the officer, I think they're doing a great job, but the, the speed on Oakwood Drive is just, you think it's a raceway most of the time yeah. after it gets started. Right. And I know it's a <coughs> straight line, <coughs> Once you turn on it off of Union down there, and it's just uh, wide open up through there most of the time on the weekends. I spoke to the chief about that, and he they've been sitting up there at that uh, church um, up on both the end. Other but, end of it. Yeah, you know, but when they come down through there, where you at? After that, well, typically, I've there. seen them sitting by that smiley's a poster a lot of times, yeah. too. So, yeah, I mean, they can they, see them sitting there, so they slow down yeah. until they pass there, and then they, you hear them opening up again. Is it possible to put speed bumps on that, or is it? Well, that'd be a... Good part. That'd be a... good part of the state, too. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. uh, Oakwood's not, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it could be discussed. Yeah, high volume, on it. I it's a high volume it. road, so I don't I don't know if that would be the feasible thing to do. But you do it on Oakwood, and you're going to have it coming in from every street everybody wants them on. Well, we're getting that now, so <laughs> I'll just add this one to the list. <laughs> Yeah, be like a railroad track. So. <laughs> Yeah, well, they'll put that on the extra patrol. So, um, Mary Bell, do you have anything to bring forward? Mm -mm. Tony? No. All right, well, appreciate you all coming. It means a lot. Um, with that being said, uh, I'd like to have a motion to adjourn this meeting. I'll make a motion. First and second. second? Tony? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like aye. Motion carries. Y'all have a good night. Quick and easy.